Well, hello you guys. Welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new here. My name is Ruby. I live in New York City and this is my lifestyle channel. So please be sure to go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. We're trying to reach 7k and that is the next goal here for this channel. I also post daily on TikTok and our next goal over there is to hit 25,000 followers. So please be sure to go join the fam over there as well. I post daily content literally every single day. I apologize if I'm speaking a little bit softer in today's video. Um, I currently have our bedroom door closed because my boyfriend is working from home today and taking a meeting in the living room. So I'm just trying to film at the same time. It's just a lot of moving parts, but it's totally okay. I'm hoping you just hear me though and the mic isn't picking up him in his meeting, but we're just going to go ahead and see what happens. I'm very excited for today's video because today I am talking all about underrated makeup that I think one, deserves more attention, but two, that I think belongs in your makeup collection. I have a lot of makeup. This isn't news to anybody unless you're brand new to my channel. If you are, hi, I'm Ruby and I have a lot of makeup. I test out a lot of makeup. I used to work in the cosmetic industry. Makeup is just a huge love of mine and I feel like through the years I have found quite a few products that I truly just adore that I feel don't get nearly enough recognition. I could probably make this into a 20 part series. I didn't want to overwhelm you guys with products so I wanted to curate a pretty good amount to go through today and then if you guys want to see more I could absolutely make a second part to this. We have a little bit of everything though. We have drugstore, we have a bit more luxury makeup um, and I'm really excited to just dive right in. I'm gonna have links for all these products down below. Definitely let me know if you've tried any of these and also what's an underrated makeup product that you think deserves more attention? Let me know that in the comments down below. I would be really, really interested to hear from you guys. But without further ado, let's just dive into today's video. Okay, so let's start with some complexion products. Up first, I have the Milk Makeup Bionic Glow, and I have mine in the shade Virtual. Now, these I believe came out last year, and I feel like for the longest time, Milk Makeup kind of wasn't really grabbing my attention. I feel like it wasn't really at the top of anybody's radar. Um, and then they came out with this, and I was super interested to try it. It's one of those multi-use products where you can use it underneath your foundation to give some added glow. You can mix it in with your foundation. You can use it on top of your foundation as a highlighter. I've tried using it all three ways and my personal favorite is using this underneath my foundation to give some added glow, added radiance. I'm currently wearing it underneath my foundation today and I cannot express to you guys how incredible this product is. It gives the perfect amount of luminosity. It dries down beautifully. Like it's not a dewy, slippery, slick product. Once you rub it into the skin, it dries down. It feels super comfortable. I even like wearing this on no makeup days just to make my skin look fresh and alive. It's very similar to the Say Glowy Super Gel, except I would say, like I said, it dries down a little bit more than the Say Beauty one does. And this is slightly more intense. I say slightly. It's not like glitter on your face, but it is definitely like a little bit more prominent than the Say Beauty, both of which are like staples in my collection. You guys know how much I love everything that Say comes out with, but I feel like that one already definitely has quite a bit of recognition. Versus this product, I feel like it needs to be in everybody's collection. I feel like makeup artists would love this if they just like knew about it and were willing to try it. I feel like it's such a win from Milk and I love it. I know I've talked about this foundation before and you know what? I'm going to talk about it again because it just doesn't get enough love. I've used this foundation for over a year now. It is absolutely incredible and yet I feel like nobody knows about it. Nobody talks about it. Other foundations from this brand are talked about but this one is slept on. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Light Wonder Foundation. It also has SPF 15 in it. Here's what the packaging looks like and I have mine in the color 4.5. This is truly like my perfect shade. This is basically the in-between for a skin tint and a tinted moisturizer slash tinted sunscreen. It definitely has like light to medium coverage as opposed to light to barely there like a Glossier skin tint. It's like the perfect natural finish. It's not too matte. It's not too dewy, but it's not like satin either. It feels weightless on the skin. It literally like blurs your pores. I'm wearing it today as well. I'm just obsessed with this stuff and maybe it's because I feel like on the Sephora website there's only a couple of colors available. So in order to really purchase this and have like the full shade range, you would have to go purchase it off of the Charlotte Tilbury website. So maybe that's why it's not as popular. But I promise you, if you purchase this, you will not be disappointed. It is truly 
one of my holy grail makeup products. Okay, lastly for complexion, I have a product from Tarte, which I feel like I have quite a few products from Tarte featured in this video. I was originally sent this product in PR, but this is not sponsored by any means. I have no idea that I'm talking about this, but holy crap, these are so good. So like I said, this is from Tarte and these are their Shape Tape Glow Wands. We all know about the iconic Shape Tape Concealer. I love it, you love it, everybody loves it, but these, you guys, are insane. This is basically a dupe for the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. And that product is seriously so incredibly popular. I absolutely love it. And it can be really hard to find it in stock. And so people have been searching for dupes for ages. Finally, e.l.f. just came out with one, but this has been around for like quite some time now. And I don't know how people didn't find it. You use this product exactly the same. The consistency feels super similar. Um, basically again, it's one of those products kind of similar to the Milk Bionic Glow, where you can use it underneath your foundation, mixed in with your foundation on top of your foundation, but this is actually like tinted versus the milk one isn't. Obviously the Tarte Glow Wands are a bit smaller than the Hollywood Flawless Filter, but a little bit goes a long way and I'm seriously obsessed with these. These are the three shades that I use the most. Um, so this one is a light. This one is Dream. I really like this one for when I have a little bit more of a tan going on. And then this one right here is a glow. It's a little bit more like pink toned if you can see that. I love Tarte makeup just like in general. General. I feel like sometimes they're really slept on and this product like had to go in the video when I was putting this video together I knew that this had to be mentioned because it is just so good and I've literally I don't think I've seen a single person talk about these on the internet besides like maybe one or two content creators mark my words something tells me this is going to go viral very soon and have like its moment even though it's been around for a while like I said I feel like this is gonna have like an it moment very, very soon. Okay, I have one other face product and it's actually a blush. And it's not that I feel like this blush is underrated, it's this color that like nobody talks about and I feel like it is the best out of the entire lineup. So this is one of the MAC mineralized blushes and it is specifically in the shade Petal Power. These blushes are great. They remind me a lot of the Hourglass ambient blushes, which you guys know, again, I'm completely obsessed with. They just have like the perfect amount of luminosity to them. Again, they're not glittery at all, but there's definitely like a sheen, like a glowy sheen to them that it's almost like a blush slash blush topper in one. And this, color specifically. Oh my gosh. It is the perfect pink with just a little bit of like that gold reflex. If you can like almost like a gold sheen, you can see it right there in the light. It is incredible. It gives you like model skin. I am completely obsessed with it. I did a live like try on of this on TikTok when I first bought it and it literally just like transformed my makeup look. I love wearing this on its own. It's super easy to build up. Um, it gives a perfect amount of color payoff. I also love this on days where I'm wearing a matte pink blush and I just want a little something added to it. I just do a light dusting right on top and again it just instantly transforms, brightens the cheeks, brings more light to it. Like are you kidding? That's the color right there. It is literally like one of the most stunning things in the world. It was a terrible swatch. It's also beautiful as an eyeshadow, just like swiped across the lid quickly. I promise, just get this, you'll thank me later. No, I can feel it. This next item might cause a little bit of controversy. Some of you guys are gonna be like, Ruby, that product isn't underrated. Like everybody talks about it, everybody knows about it. And it's true, everybody does know about it, but I feel like this product has kind of gotten like a bad or like so-so rep where I think it's amazing. It's another Charlotte Tilbury product. It's another one that I've spoken about in a previous video, but again, it needed to be mentioned today. This is the Pillow Talk Eyeshadow Quad. Now, the reason why, in my opinion, this is an underrated product is because so many people, I've seen so many reviews where people have tried this and been like, the color payoff just isn't there. I don't think it's worth the price. What's so special about it? I don't know if maybe those people got like a bad batch or they just didn't give it a fair shot or maybe like, I don't know, it was the primer that they were using. This is one of my favorite, like eyeshadow quads palettes that I've ever used and I it's one of my most reached for in my collection first of all I truly think that it's the perfect amount of color payoff yes these aren't like the most crazy pigmented but that actually makes them really easy to work with and very buildable this color right here for me I mean I love all the colors in this palette but this one right here makes the palette worth it it is the perfect 
like glitter topper where it's not too intense. It's almost just gonna give like a whisper of glitter on top of whatever eyeshadow you have underneath. It is so stunning. I feel like this is the perfect palette to bring on like a short trip if you need a really easy quad that you can use day to night. I love a good pink toned eye look. I like this one in particular because it's good for like very natural people who don't wanna play with like a ton of color, which isn't necessarily me. I definitely love like a brighter eyeshadow look, but for like day to day, this is perfect. Yes, it's expensive, but to me it is just so worth it. And so if you've been somebody who has kind of been on the fence, but you've heard that maybe they're not pigmented, the eyeshadows don't perform well, Try this out for yourself because I truly, like, I love this eyeshadow quad. When I was creating this video and putting products kind of on the list, products that I wanted to mention, this was like the first thing that I wrote down, I think. This is from Merit and this is their eyebrow gel. Now I have mine in the shade Black Brown. I'm gonna make a bold claim here, but I'm very confident in making it because you guys know I am obsessed with brow products. I'm obsessed with brow gel. This, in my opinion, is the best tinted brow gel on the market. As far as clear brow gels go, I definitely have a few that I love a bit more in my collection, but for tinted, this is it. First of all, I love the size of the brush. I love that it's not too small, so you can like really get into your brows, but it's not so big that it's gonna be really messy. It gives the perfect amount of color payoff, and this stuff really holds your brows without making them feel like crusty or stuck there like you put hairspray in your eyebrows. I'm using it today, I absolutely love it, and it's also one of those brow gels where because it gives a decent amount of like color payoff and really does a good job at like fluffing up the brows and kind of filling them in, you can definitely skip um, a brow pencil afterwards if you want to or if you're in a rush or kind of doing like a no makeup makeup day. Today I did go in with a pencil and just slightly fill in the front of my brows, but I didn't do anything to like the middle to the end of my brows. It's literally all just this. So good. I love Merit. They're one of my favorite clean beauty brands and I just think this is such a stellar, stellar product. I've repurchased it multiple times. I have two mascaras that I wanted to mention. Funny enough, both are actually clean beauty brands. I feel like they've just been killing the mascara game recently. So we have the the Merit Mascara as well as the Say Beauty Mascara. Let's talk about the Merit Mascara first only because we just wrapped up talking about their brow gel. First of all, I just love how luxe the packaging is, but that's besides the point. We're obviously talking about why I love the product itself. We have a really nice natural bristle wand, which I usually prefer when it comes to my mascaras. It's funny because actually the Save Beauty one is a rubber like bristle wand, but typically, I don't know, I just prefer the way that a natural bristle feels on my lashes. Like I just feel like it's a bit more gentle. I'm like 99.9% .9 sure that this is a tubing mascara um, because although it doesn't like directly say it in the marketing, at least the marketing that I've seen, you can really feel it like coating each individual lash and it comes off super easily, but it does not move throughout the day. It feels identical to a tubing mascara so I'm just gonna go ahead and assume that it is one it gives you the most beautiful fluttery separated lashes it kind of reminds me of L'Oreal lash paradise it's incredibly gentle on the eyes I've never dealt with it like irritating my eyes or anything like that like I said it just feels weightless and it just looks incredible moving on to the Save beauty mascara this one is not a tubing mascara at least I don't think but it lasts all day I've never dealt with like any flaking or any sort of like raccoon eyes at the end of the day. Let's look at the brush because this is super interesting. So it's a more spiky rubber bristle wand as opposed to the Merit, which is a natural wand. It's very spiky. And then as you can tell on the top, it almost kind of like flattens out, which at first I was like, what am I supposed to do with this? I actually really like the top of the wand for getting my bottom lashes. I don't do my bottom lashes every single day, but when I'm looking to like amp up my look, it's always a nice option. But when I use the wand regularly to just, you know, apply to my top lashes, there is something about this formula and this wand. It gives you the most beautiful separate, like separated lashes. And this is just so good. So these are the two mascaras that I knew I had to mention. Both are clean beauty, great for sensitive eyes. They do what they claim to do. I love them. You're welcome. <laughs> now, obviously, I had to put a couple of lip products in here. You guys know I'm a lip product lover through and through. I've been slowly kind of diving back into drugstore makeup. I just realized it had been forever since I really kind of saw what was even at the drugstore, what was new, what maybe wasn't new that I just didn't know it was even a thing. And as I've been trying and buying, I have really noticed that L'Oreal is just killing the lip product game. And there are two products in particular that I'm just obsessed with right now. 
The first of which is the Glow Paradise Balm in Lipstick. I believe that that's what it's called. The packaging is like, eh, so, so it's fine. But again, we're not talking about the packaging. We're talking about the product. Now, when I first heard like balm in lipstick, I thought, okay, is it going to be like a tinted lip balm? Is it going to have that much color payoff? The answer is yes. You definitely get a very decent amount of color payoff with this, um, but it's so comfortable. You get the comfort of a balm, but the pigment of like a pretty typical lipstick. This is my favorite color. This is in the shade 130 Nude Haven. Let's do a little swatch in the back of my hand. That way you guys can really see what I'm talking about. So here you go. You definitely get a good amount of pigment and a good amount of color payoff, but you can see there's quite a bit of like a sheen to it and you can tell that there's a lot of hydration in the formula. For the summertime when you just want something easy and comfortable, I don't know, I've just really been enjoying these and again, I haven't heard many people talking about them. I think they're like semi-new or they were around a few years ago and then they were like reformulated and this is kind of like the revamped version. Great though, definitely gets my stamp of approval. I have a second product from L'Oreal that I've talked about quite a bit on my TikTok, so if you follow me over there, you probably know what I'm about to mention. And even outside of social media, I have turned so many friends and family members onto this lip product. I bought it for my mom, then she bought it for one of her best friends. I told one of my best friends about it, and then she said she got her mom it. So it's like very funny how many parents and friends I've influenced, I guess. These are the L'Oreal Glow Paradise Balm in Glosses. These are basically an exact dupe for the Rare Beauty, I think it's called like the Stay Vulnerable Glossy Lip Balm or something like that. Which don't get me wrong, I love that product. I actually have it in a few shades shades but this is basically a dupe at like half the price which is great as you can tell I really love this product I have three different shades I'll show you them in a second but first let's talk about the formula I don't know any other way to explain this other than this feels like a lip treatment on your lips but you get the color payoff of a lip gloss it's like super pillowy and soft and like plush on your lips like it just feels like a hydrating lip treatment. I love wearing these on their own. I love pairing with a lip liner and then just doing this on top and like completely skipping a lipstick or anything else. The wand is also super interesting and I actually really like the shape. It's kind of like a flat figure eight. It really nicely coats the lips and because of the pointed tip, you can get a really precise application. It's not messy. Let's go through the three colors that I have. I really like the color selection and if you're somebody who really likes the Rare Beauty product, um, the L'Oreal actually has a better color selection right now. They just have quite a few more options. And like I said, again, I love the Rare Beauty product in the formula, but the color selection is a little limited. But let's go through the three that I have, like I said. So up first we have number 50, which is Feathery Fleur. Then we have number 40, which is Blissful Blush. And then right here we have number 120, Rose Harmony. Now I don't want you to be intimidated by this because it does look a little dark in the tube, but when it's applied to your lips, they are definitely like a bit more sheer. So however, they look in the actual like packaging just know that it's going to appear quite a bit lighter on your lips I cannot recommend these enough though these are easily going in like one of my top like drugstore makeup products for the year honestly where did the Sun go we're just gonna keep going like nothing is wrong even though the Sun completely disappeared anyways though yeah these are definitely going in like my top one of the best drugstore products that I've tried all year maybe honestly one of the best makeup products that I've tried all year I really can't stop talking about these and I think they're great we all know how much I love my lip oils and so many other people are obsessed with them as well and I feel like I'm always on the hunt to try like other brands that when they release lip oils whether I know the brand or whether I don't I'm always just interested to get my hands on as many different formulas as possible and the last time I placed a order on Tarte's website, I saw that they had this and I literally freaked out. This is the Maracuja Glossy Lip Oil. Again, it's from Tarte. Now it only comes in one color. It's called Sheer Pink, but I thought it was super cute. So I added it to the card immediately. I'm obsessed with the Tarte Maracuja Lip Products. You guys know the Maracuja Juicy Lip Plump, one of my favorite makeup products of all time. So I had really high hopes for this because I thought, well, if it's a part of the line, I'm sure I'm going to love it. And I do. I absolutely love it. I looked up reviews and stuff online to see if anybody else had talked about this and I literally couldn't find anything. So this product in particular, I'd be very interested to hear if any of you guys have tried it before because like I said, I couldn't really find anything on the internet. The applicator is super interesting. It's almost like a little brush, um, which I think is really fun because it kind of feels like you're painting your lips. This smells incredible too. It smells like I don't know, almost like a tropical, like, bubblegum perfume. Like, I don't know, it smells really good. Now, even though the color is sheer pink, this really doesn't give your lips any color. It gives maybe, like, a whisper of something, but it mostly just makes them glossy. This is a very thick, 
lip oil. I would say it's almost like a lip oil gloss hybrid, but it's not sticky. But because it's so thick, it really like sits on your lips and it gives it time to like penetrate and hydrate. I don't know if that makes sense, but it's definitely like one of the longer lasting lip oils that I've tried. Kind of like the Dior lip oil where it's a little bit thicker, so it just has a little bit more of like a longer wear time. I really like this. So again, on top of like a lip liner or even on days where I'm just like around the house and I don't have any makeup on, I'll put this on and just let it like sink into my lips throughout the day. And I really do feel like it helps like make them look more hydrated or, and more plump. It's also pretty reasonably affordable for a more like high-end makeup brand. I think this is like $15 and Tarte always has some sort of sale or discount going on. I just had to mention it though, for me it definitely made the underrated makeup list. I feel like it needs so much more attention and I've really, really been enjoying it. But there you guys have it. That wraps up today's video, underrated makeup products that I think you should try and that belong in your collection. Obviously the actual title of this video is gonna be a little shorter but you guys get it. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. And again, click that subscribe button down below. We're trying to reach 7K here on this channel. Be sure to follow me on all of my other social media networks. I'm on Instagram, Twitter, TikTok. I have an Amazon shop that I'm always like constantly updating. I have a like to know it page. And then also in the description box down below, I have discount codes to some of my favorite brands. Just a lot of fun links that I think you guys could benefit from. So anyways, I love you guys so much. I hope you all are staying safe, happy, and healthy. And I will talk to you all again very, very soon in my next video. Okay, bye everybody.